Guyana's finance minister, Dr. Ashni Singh, hailed the contract signing on Tuesday as the country's largest solar installation and energy investment to date, marking a pivotal step towards cleaner and renewable energy sources. The U.S. $83.3 million was signed to install solar farms in five locations in the country, under naming and charity in Region 2 and Trafalgar, Prospect and Hampshire in Regions 5 and 6. These installations will not only reduce generation costs and add capacity to the Ghana power and light through renewable sources, but also empower Guyanese through job training initiatives, including jobs for women and persons with disabilities. And those are significant additions to our electricity generating capability. And they represent a significant step forward in our transition to cleaner and more cleaner and renewable sources of energy. The project is a joint venture between Chinese companies Sumec, Complete Equipment and Engineering, and XJ Group Corporation. Chinese Ambassador to Guyana, during her remarks, commended Guyana's commitment to emission reduction and climate security. Now Guyana has ad uh, ushered into a uh, once-in-a-century development uh, opportunity, and uh, China uh, enjoys the advantage of uh, production and technology, so which uh, constitute uh, complementarity between the two countries. So we have a bright future in uh, the development and especially in the new energy development. Prime Minister Mark Phillips, during remarks, emphasized the importance of transitioning to renewable energy while addressing vulnerabilities to climate change. We talk a lot about transition, energy transition, but I want to add one more word. This is an example of just energy transition, where we are moving towards greater use of renewable energy, but at the same time, dealing with the issues of the vulnerables in our society as it pertains to climate change. The project is being administered by the Inter-American Development Bank, IDB, the project will also facilitate a significant advancement in the digitalization of the Esquiba electrical system. This transition will replace manual systems with real-time automated monitoring and control. The GAISOL program is anticipated to prevent 39,000 tons of CO2 emissions and aligns with Guyana's low-carbon development strategy. For Newsroom, it's Anela Patwo.